Hey everybody, John, owner of Lehman Geophysical here, and I wanted to show you how we're organizing things in our shop because I think this could be a really good way for you to use in your labs and when you're organizing field gear. It's something that's been pretty popular amongst the maker community and amongst machine shops and mechanical shops, but I don't think it's really made it into the research circles yet. It's this system called Gridfinity. So let's take a look and I'll show you what it is. So Gridfinity is a standard based on these grid cells and you can design bins, blocks, whatever you'd like. So here I've got one that holds a tool. Uh, here I've got pencils, pens, one for calipers. I made one for my tape measure and magnifying glass and deburring tool. If we look here in my OD turning drawer, I've got inserts and tools in them and they go into these standard grids that you can print. This drawer doesn't have, it was waiting on the bins that are actually sitting up here now to print. I said it doesn't have a lot in it yet, but it's a really nice way to organize things and some of the grid plates you can even put magnets in if you want things to magnet down, though I found that to be a pain and largely unnecessary. But yeah, so I've designed some for you know, alcohol bottles, my end of bar marking paint can here at the lathe. So really handy way to organize your desktop, your drawers and toolboxes. Let me show you a couple other places around the shop where we have it. This is our 3D printing area. And you can see I've got some Kaizen foam here with pockets cut out for the tools that we use to maintain the 3D printers, cut filament, get clogs out which by the way, acupuncture needles are the way to go to get clogs out of 3D printer nozzles. But back here, there's a Gridfinity plate and I've got the thermal grease and lead screw lubricant, some Q-tips, the glue sticks and some alcohol and then lots of extra room on this plate for whatever else we need for our 3D printers. Another place is on my office desk. So I've got calipers, pins and pencils, binder clips, paper clips, and my graphing calculator right here on the edge of the desk because that's the things I use every day. I've also printed, haven't got a good place for yet, a cable tray for all different USB cables. And there's even a print out there already for oscilloscope probes. That's Gridfinity compatible. So Gridfinity is great. We don't have it everywhere we want to use it yet and it doesn't fit everywhere. You saw at the 3D printers that we had the Kaizen foam or dual color multi-layer foam. Uh, here at the toolbox, we've got multi-layer foam for our pliers. Didn't make sense to take all the time and uh, effort to design the Gridfinity prints for the outline of our screwdriver handles. And it'd be a lot of plastic. So here we just use foam. So it's not the perfect solution for everything, but it is something that we use in quite a few places and something I thought you might like to know about. Also, we're continually evolving. So we're not a perfect shop by any stretch of the imagination. This toolbox has many drawers that I didn't open that are not so clean. So we're still working on it. We'll bring you along on the journey, but check out Gridfinity, see if it'll work for you in your lab. Tell us in the comments what you've tried for organization that has or hasn't worked. This is one of our failed experiments, this little rack with a bunch of bins on it from Harbor Freight. And now it's just where a bunch of junk is and we're in the process of dismantling it, putting things either in the inventory system or in appropriate bins and storage, and then this will go away. So if you like content about shops, organization, how we can make things better in your lab, be sure to like and subscribe and let us know how we can help.